Across the country ease, many states and businesses are slowly reopening. Some workers may be surprised at the anxiety they feel returning to work. Health reporter Haley Hernandez has more on this. With new sanitation measures in place, salons and other businesses are reopening. We're all very ecstatic to be back here at work today. But not all people returning to work are so certain. It's fearful, but being between a rock and a hard place is that if I don't open now and someone else is going to take that business, maybe I'm not going to have a business to come back to. According to a recent survey, two out of three people are uncomfortable returning to work right now, and health experts say that's understandable. This is a time to be anxious. This is a time to be worried. So it's, it's absolutely normal, absolutely uh, anticipated and expected. But the thing is that everybody's tolerance of handling anxiety is different. Baylor College of Medicine Dr. Asim Shah suggests workers focus on taking precautions like wearing masks and hand hygiene. Employers can take gradual steps to ease workers back into their routines, especially those scrambling to find child care. Schedule a few of your employees and then or maybe stagger their time. Somebody comes Monday, somebody comes Wednesday, things like that. Employers can also adapt new policies. One survey found the majority of workers wanted to be able to wear masks and socially distance themselves. Almost half would like to see handshakes and hugs banned. Dr. Shaw says self-help apps can be helpful to people who are not being treated for mental health conditions right now. We have a list of those resources on our website, click to Houston.com. I'm health reporter Haley Hernandez, KPRC Channel 2 News. Haley, thank you.